In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure the line pressure inside your automatic transmission. So the first thing you need to do is you need to locate your transmission test port. Many transmissions have two test ports. One is for measuring main line pressure, and another one is for measuring throttle valve pressure. Uh, you can you can find out more about throttle valves if you watch my other video on how automatic transmission works. Um, this car only has a mainline test port and if you go back behind the engine uh, you'll see it's right there that that bolt right there we need to take out and that will give us access to the mainline pressure of the transmission it's 11 millimeter The next step is to get your gauge. Now, the gauge should come with a bunch of different fittings. I got this on Amazon for $35, so it's not expensive. But it comes with a bunch of different fittings that you need to match up to the uh, plug that you pulled out. And when you're trying to match these up, don't just start putting random fittings into the transmission housing you're gonna end up stripping the threads out and that is gonna be a bad day okay so this one matches up to this one just make sure that put the threads next to each other make sure they line up and make sure they're the same thickness um, so in this case it's kinda of tight so I'm gonna thread this in by hand into the transmission first and then uh, and then put the gauge into this because it's harder to thread the gauge in than it is to thread it by hand and I'd rather mess up these threads than these than these threads. Okay, the test port's in there, now we're going to thread our hose down into the fitting. And if we do it this way, you don't have a chance of messing up the threads on the transmission case. Now that it's in, I can just spin the gauge from way back here. And uh, we'll just tighten it up a little bit. Okay, you don't have to go crazy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start the car. Before we do that, let's just route this up to where we can see it. We're going to actually bring it in to the window with us. Okay, now let's start the car. And we look at the gauge. And we see it's reading between maybe about 115 PSI. Also go out and check to see if it's leaking or not. So you get different pressures for different gears that you're in. And the to obtain the correct uh, the spec for the gear that you're in, you need to have the factory service manual or do some sort of Googling to, uh, to find out what the pressure should be. So I'm gonna put the e-brake on, step on the regular brake, Switch it to reverse, and we see that the pressure is about the same. Switch it to neutral, pressure is about the same. Now let's switch it to drive. Okay, we're reading about 75 psi pressure. Three. Switching it to two. Switching it to one. Up to 150. Back up the drive and uh, back into park. So what we just did is we measured line pressure 
um, under idle, under normal engine, uh, under just idle speed. What we need to do now is measure the pressures at uh, wide open throttle. And what that means is we need to step on the brake as hard as we possibly can and floor the gas pedal. When we do that, we're going to get the maximum pressure output. And this is another, another spec that you need to compare from the factory service manual. They have both lowest pressure and maximum pressure that the line should be under, reg under idle conditions and under wide open throttle conditions. We need to do both. Now don't be stupid with this. You're holding back a lot of power with these brakes, with the brakes. So put it, the car in a position where if the car, if something happened, you wouldn't smash into something. And I'm going to do that now by backing out of the garage and going outside. Okay, so we are outside now. Um, and uh, I'm in a position where if my car decides to go forward, I have some leeway before anything bad happens. Um, we're in just below 100 PSI. So we're going to go to reverse now. And we see it's about 100. Um, and now to do your stall test, slam on the brake. Actually, in fact, put the e-brake on first. Now slam on the brake as hard as you can and then floor the gas pedal and we're talking a couple seconds is good enough. Okay. We're getting about a little bit over 200 PSI for reverse. We're going to go to drive and we're going to get we're going to floor it. We're getting about 185 PSI. So you would do this in every gear, um, go, I went back to park, and compare it with the factory specs. And this lets you know what's happening inside the transmission. Now again, you don't want to do this for very long. This will cause severe damage to your transmission if you do it for an extended period of time. Now all we have to do is remove the fitting from the transmission and put the plug back in. So now, now we just remove the hose Next, the fitting, a little at a time. Watch the hot exhaust. There we go. Now we put the old plug back in. And now we just start it up and check for leaks. Okay, no leaking. That's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching.